So I want to come to you, uh, uh, Dr. Desai first, because you've been deeply involved with this project. The Pragyan rover is out there. We are told it will move at a speed of one centimeter per second for the next 14 days. Can you give our viewers a sense what exactly will the rover do during this period? Yeah, so as uh, most of you are now uh, familiar with that, that uh, yesterday after the soft landing of our landing uh, lander, uh, we initiated the uh, initial operations related to putting rover onto the moon surface. And uh, we first brought down the ramp, which was part of the lander. So it touched the moon surface and on that ra ramp, the roll, roller, rover rolled down that ramp. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, we faced some of the initial teething troubles related to the initial rover operations of rolling it down the ramp and putting it on the moon surface. But uh, we could overcome that challenges also. And uh, by yesterday, 12 o'clock, our rover was moving on to the, just rolled down to the ramp and moved on to the moon surface. And initial pictures were taken uh, of that particular uh, rover movement from our lander imager, which mm -hmm. is part of the lander. And uh, as you said, the rolling speed actually is not one centimeter per second, but it is one centimeter per minute. That is what uh, we'll be using mm -hmm. for its now continuous experimentation, which we want to do for next uh, 14. In fact, actually it is 12 and a half days because we landed on the second day mm -hmm. uh, after the sunrise on the moon. And uh, generally one moon day is equal to 14 Earth days. So considering that we have now 12, 12 and a half days of experimentation left before the night sets in on moon, which is which is the some uh, frightening part because at night temperature on moon goes up to as low as minus 120 to minus 150 degrees centigrade. And wow. uh, that will, uh, incapacitate some of the electronic circuitry. So what we'll do is that we'll switch off the rover after these 12 and a half days of experimentation. And after 14 days of night, we'll again try to revive. Fascinating listening to that. One centimeter a minute is what the rover moves at. Dr. Amitabh Ghosh, uh, NASA Mars rover scientist, what, is, what are you looking forward to over the next 14 days? What's going to be exciting you? Apart from those pictures, which are just brilliant. Right. So I just want to correct. It says ex-NASA scientist. Um, I, I have mentioned it a couple of times to your team. So, um, so yes. Um, so as you said, um, uh, well, it's going to be very exciting, the 14 days. So, so we're just beginning. So I think marginally the, the chairman has mentioned group planning. So the rover now has to figure out where will it go. So probably the scientists are right now scanning interesting targets mm -hmm. uh, where they want to drive to. And then there will be probably um, rover drivers who will take, who will assess how to get there and they will get there. And then the scientists will make some analysis and then that, that, that will be downlinked back to Earth. And then the scientists will again look at it and see, well, what did they find? And then they might make more analysis at that location or drive to Earth different location. So this process will continue until uh, 14 days. As, uh, uh, but um, anything specifically that you're looking at that you are, uh, you know, you are excited about? Yes. See, obviously, everybody is trying to look at hints of water. So the analysis of the regolith. Uh, regolith is the top layer of the soil. See, on Mars, you get water below the regolith as well. Um, so, so the Chinese rover and our latest Mars Perseverance is looking for that. So that is interesting. And then, of course, if you, I don't know how far uh, they're from the ice deposit, it's from a crater. And, you know, the time is a little short, so I don't know whether there's time to go to the crater. And the other thing that you have to understand, I don't know what the range is. So, you know, the rover communicates with the lander, so it kind of has to be in contact with the lander. So how far can it go mm -hmm. without being out of range? But the ice deposits are very, very critical. And that is what the entire community wants to know as to what, whether it is ice one. See, that is what we verified with Mars Phoenix. You know, just because uh, you, ha you have to make sure by measuring the composition, it is really right. um, 
is H2O, and then what is the temperature of the ice? You know, that that's, you know, if you're trying to extract the ice, melt that ice, there is a heat involved, heat equation involved there. So is it feasible to melt the ice? So that these are the type of questions that... Um, these are, these are, of course, questions for the future.